Hi there Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to do your reading now. This is for August 1st through the 15th. It's intended to be a love reading. This is for Aquarius. What do you have for Aquarius? Oh, something. Let's, ooh, a lot of passion. Ah. Ooh. Wow, it looks like there's a lot of, uh, well, there's a, probably a lot of fun going on, okay? There probably is. Looks like there's a lot of fun, a lot of energy, a lot of high energy, um, maybe a little bit of overindulgence could be. Perhaps somebody is, um... having some wild wild times you know looks like there's some kind of uh there's a whole lot of fun at the beginning of august put it that way first second third fourth right around the fifth oh shit okay so this is for aquarius the first it looks like there's a lot that you're vibrating high uh, you're shining and you are attracting and you are magnetic and you're probably um, having a whole lot of fun Aquarius um, probably maybe a little bit too much fun you could be um, uh, listening to the devil on one side of your shoulder and ignoring the little angel over there um, that's what I see um, but then towards the end of the week, the first week of August, it looks like you're back to being focused on your home and, um, whew, right at the very end of the, look at these tens, major completion. So it looks like, you know, you've reached the, uh, material type of abundance that you, that you've, that you've been seeking for this week. It looks like you're not seeking much financially um, or um, security wise you're feeling pretty secure by the end of the week <clears throat> but um, we have this um, phew, crisis of some sort I mean what the hell is this this is right at the end of the week luckily after this happens it can only go up from here so you know, by the fourth or fifth or whatnot, by the fourth, fifth or sixth, you know, you're feeling you're feeling pretty comfortable, you know, and stable and secure after your little rendezvous or whatever it was. Um, and then right towards the end of the week, it looks like there's been like a a, a big blow of some sort. Um, I don't know. We'll get some more cards on this, but, but towards the end of the week, there's a big blow. But don't be scared because whenever something, when one, one thing, you know, blows up, usually something good comes out of it. So. Yeah. Yeah, something usually does good. Jeez, some crawl. Ah, oh, isn't that ugly? Oh my god, that's a freaking ugly card. Right next to this one? Holy shit. Yeah, what the hell is going on? You're, you're like... Uh, wow. Overwhelmed in thought. Something, there's some, some kind of overwhelming um, crisis type of thing going on. Going on down here. You know, it's really crazy because from, it looks really good and then it gets really bad. And you know what I mean? It goes from one extreme to the other. So it looks like um, here we, we have love and lust and sexual energy. You know, a, a union, a partnership where it's like, oh, you know, it's like, oh, it's overwhelming. You know, it's like. Is there's such a force between you and somebody else that it's like ooh, overpowering, you know, and it could it could lead to a commitment. Um, or if you haven't met this person yet, you know, you might meet them at a gathering. If you already are with this person, you know, it could lead to a commitment. If you haven't met them, then you might meet them at a gathering of some sort. Um, but then we still have this despair. 
and they're right together and it's it's a, it's a big amount of despair right here together so um it's like oh my god your head is getting the best of you it is you go from this to this <laughs> you go to just like oh my god to oh, i'm dying you know what i mean like oh what's happening you know so it's like from one thing to the other and i'm not trying to be dramatic i'm trying to explain to you the severity of it you know and this may or may not resonate with each and every one of you take what parts of it does and just leave the rest okay there's hundreds of people i'm not god of course i can't read every single person um so here you know at the beginning we have this whew, you know this you know how would i keep doing making noises it's like a, a powerful sexual loving um energy okay which unites you and somebody else it's just like a hidden force it's that powerful okay and you're feeling then you're feeling very comfortable and content and good like great awesome but on the other hand it goes from that like <laughs> in the middle of the night and then all of a sudden you wake up and it's like a freaking brick landed on your house and you're like oh I'm dead but you're not dead okay so what the hell is this here you are of course of course here you're f of course it's right here there you are beautiful you're f you're shining you're shining at the beginning of the month. You are shining. Okay, you're feeling loved. You're feeling great. You're feeling very sexual. You're like, you know, you're probably overindulging. You know, you're you're being probably being a little too wild. Maybe this is a time of recuperation. I don't know. But um, anyway, this union could lead to a commitment. If you're not with somebody yet, you could meet this person at some kind of gathering where there where there's people renewing a commitment or whatnot okay so here we have a Sagittarius here we have a Pisces um, here we have Pisces Cancer Scorpio I consider this a Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius. So, I mean, we have Pisces three times. I'm not sure if you're involved with the Pisces. We have Cancer a couple times. We have, this can be Cancer as well. So we have Cancer three times. Um, perhaps you, do you feel like you have given your power away to somebody? Do you feel like it's time for you to take back some power? Is somebody stressing you out? really to like crisis mode you know it like you're like oh, I'm not sure I can take this anymore I'm not sure I can take this anymore um let's get some more cards <clears throat> here we have a Virgo Look at this. A new welling of emotion. Look at this. Oh, that's a beautiful lineup, isn't it? This is a new uh, partnership, probably a new sexual partnership. If you're with somebody, it's a renewal of a sexual partnership. A renewal of passion, a renewal of lust. It's very sexual. This is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or another sign that is offering you love to go with that. Okay, because you're absolutely shining. Okay, you're loving yourself. You're feeling good. You, you're just, you're glowing, okay? And you've stepped out of your shell, you, you have. And now we have this new welling of emotion, all right? Um, could be with a Virgo. Um, <clears throat> now this is about collaboration and teamwork. This is about acting and taking your power and using your power. Okay? So here we have their secrets. There's something going on behind the scenes. Okay? There's something going on behind the scenes that is, that's um, <clears throat> connected to your love. 
that's connected to your love and it, it may or may not be bad because may be good may be bad because here we have this despair and it feels like i mean here's your power that's you having your power but it looks like you're you're not feeling too powerful okay perhaps you want your power back somebody it feels like somebody has taken your power back taking your power and that you want to take it back so that you can bring back harmony to your home to your home life to you to your comfort zone all right so here we have this three of pentacles where perhaps you know this may have happened in the way past i'm not sure but perhaps you finally decide to take back your power and you decide to actually work as a team with somebody could be a water sign could be a Sagittarius you decide okay I'm gonna take back my power from this person I know I've been through a crisis I've been hurt I've been you know really 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 hurt you know but you know I'm gonna take back I'm gonna put my crown back on and I'm gonna work with you you know we're gonna do this together because this could be love this could be love with a Virgo could be a Sagittarius, could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Maybe it was a Gemini who took your power, I don't know. So at the beginning of the month it looks like, woo, yeah, lots of sexual, loving, powerful energy because you are absolutely 100% glowing. And it looks like if you, you do have an opportunity for a union with somebody, and this is something that the force is, um, it's a karmic force, okay? It's not something that is, can be not be denied, okay? It's not something that can be denied. That's just the way it is. If you haven't met this person, you might meet them at a gathering, okay? If you have met this person and you're already in a relationship, it, you could, your relationship could move up to a higher level, all right? And your, your home life, your comfort zone is going, you're going to be feeling very, very good in your own comfort zone <coughs> with this person, Pisces, Can Cancer, Scorpio, or this could be just you, um, using your intuition, being charming, um, using your charisma, charisma, okay? Or showing off your charisma because, you know, you're putting your crown back on. You've taken back what's been lost. You know, you're not going to live in this depressive world anymore. You're taking back your mind power and you're putting your crown back on in the name of love. I mean, that's what it says. See, that one went flying. Oh, I don't think you really want to see it. Do you? Oh, my goodness. It would require you taking back your power. That's for damn sure. Which I think you know you've, you've done damn good at doing that. You're real close. There it is. This situation involves marriage. It does. I truly believe it does. Now, this could just be, like I said, your relationship goes to a higher level of commitment. It could get closer to this wedding spot. You know what I mean? I do see that happening. I do. Because you you are or you have going to, you either have worked on taking back your power that somebody took from you, or you are going to, put it that way. You have some major completions here, okay? There's, I don't see much struggling left. I mean, there's no more struggle in uh, security and stability. And there's no more struggle with your thoughts. Th that shit's over. So, I mean, this is fantastic. Putting your crown right back on. That's what's going on. Huh. See, this person might might and it might be you as well but i'm leaning more towards this water sign if that's who you are involved with now bits and pieces like i said earlier will resonate with you and not the other person you know what i mean so take what you can from this 
Codespe codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life somebody has some addictions and i'm leaning towards this pisces cancer or um scorpio could be you though could be you everybody has addictions so and they may deny them whatever um Don't let that hold you back. Don't let that that don't let don't let your whatever addictions you have or the other person has hold you back. You can get through it together. It can be handled together. <laughs> August first through the fifteenth. Extend your light hearted energy to others. Flirt. And this is to others, not just, and when I say flirt, I don't mean go out there and pinch like you're somebody else's ass if you're in a relationship. I mean, to get rid of the word flirt, that, that word, I'd like to just rip that right off. Maybe I should just cover it right up. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. That's what this is about. Men, men, women, whoever it is. Because when you do that, your vibration raises and this love comes from every direction. So when you extend your lighthearted energy to others, when you do that, you open up a whole new realm for love to come in. Okay? Just do it and see. Bring this to you a lot faster. Just saying, if that's what you're looking for. So, Aquarius, this is what I have for you uh, for August 1st of the 15th. I want to thank you for your um, support and for watching me. And if you'd like to subscribe, I would love to have you. I will talk to you again soon.